if we were to meme. Papa Fermi's Earth Encounter. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another video. We're going to deal with our first IMO International Math Olympiad video here on this channel. Okay, we are going to dive right in. The quest for today is for which x out of the real numbers does this inequality right here hold? Okay, that's the question for today. We are going to dive right in. At first I want you guys to notice if we were to plug 0 into here we would actually run into an undefined situation. That's a 0 over 1 minus 1, so 0 situation. So in order for this inequality to hold we don't want x to approach 0. Meaning our x can be now either positive or negative or maybe both, we don't know. Let us do some more simplifications and let's see where this is going to lead. I want you guys to notice that 4 is nothing but 2 squared, meaning we would have a square on both numerator and denominator, meaning we can bring the square to the outside, meaning overall. We are now going to have 2x over 1 minus the square root 1 plus 2x, but this whole thing, I'm going to put a parenthesis here, squared, because in a normal case, it's really nice or good. It's something you should do to rationalize the denominator. Okay, this is something you should do because uh, maybe we are going to end up with a single digit, something down here with a single value thing, and maybe stuff is going to cancel out nicely. And it's an IMO problem, so it would make sense for stuff to simplify quite nicely. How do you rationalize? Down here, well, we are going to multiply this by its conjugate. Okay, the, the conjugate would be 1 plus square root of this thing. Okay, we're going to expand this fraction. So 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 2x over 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 2x. This is just something you should do because most of the time stuff is going to cancel out and then you can actually um, use the additive property for example of the numerator to break stuff up. Now, one other cool thing is that we are exactly going to end up with the difference of two squares. Okay, this is one thing why you should do this because you can actually get rid of the square root right here. Difference of two squares tells us that we are going to end up with 1 minus the third squared, so 1 minus 1 minus 2x. Okay, meaning we are going to end up with 2x times the square root of um, 1 plus 2x plus 1 over and then, like I said, negative 2 times x. Yes, negative, negative 2 times x squared. Now, one other cool thing is, like I said, stuff is going to cancel out. It's a math Olympiad problem. Stuff is bound to cancel out, okay? It's, it, it ought to be solvable for the participants, okay? I hope you get the point right here. And also, if we take negative squared, it's going to become positive. So overall, we are going to end up with the following inequality after expanding all the stuff out. We are going to end up with the square root of 1 plus 2x plus 1 squared being strictly less than 2x plus 9. Now, we can actually find more restrictions on our x because, you see, we have a square root right here and what happens if the discriminant is going to be negative? Well, then we are going to end up with a complex number. But the thing is we have an inequality here and the complex numbers are not an ordered field, meaning there is no order relation and thus no strict order relation. Meaning, if we were to go into the complex plane right here, it just wouldn't be an inequality anymore. It, it just doesn't work out, okay? There's no ordering in the complex numbers. Meaning, when is this discriminant less than um, zero, so negative, as soon as our x is less than negative one half, right? Yes, if it's negative one half, this is our lower bound, then we would have 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0. Square root of 0 is well defined in real numbers, this is a cool thing. Okay, so meaning we can restrict our x further, namely x being um, exactly greater or equal to negative 1 half. Meaning at the moment our x is element of the interval, well, negative 1 half and 0 with an open interval right here because we cannot reach 0. Now, we can go further. We want to find out if there are also solutions in the um, positive reals, okay? We are going to try it out. 
meaning we're going to write everything out right here, leaving us with, okay, this is going to give us one plus two times square root one plus two x, and then this thing squared, so plus one plus two times x, being strictly less than two x plus nine. And now in the normal case, what you would like to do is you have this one equation, okay, and then you have the other equation and you would like to find out where the upper bound is, okay, like the intersection point of those two. But we can also see if we can construct ourselves a certain function and just see when it's less than zero, for example, or greater than zero. This is something we can actually do. Meaning if we were to bring stuff to the other side, then let us define f of x, as being, okay, we are going to search for the zero then of our f of x that we are going to construct ourselves and everything below is just not part of our function anymore. We are going to construct as follows, this is two, okay, meaning nine minus two is going to give us seven. And then we are going to have two x minus two x is actually going to cancel out, minus two times square root of one plus two x. And now we want to set this equal to zero and see, um, what part of the positive rules we are actually going to cover, okay, up until this is uh, satisfied. Meaning, what we can do, we can now solve, we can add this third on both sides, meaning seven is thus equal to two times the square root, one plus two x, now we can divide both sides by two, now we can square both sides, okay, that's just simple algebra, that's why I'm rushing through, meaning 49 over four is thus nothing other than one plus two times x, Meaning now we can subtract one on both sides. One is nothing but four over four, so 45 over four, exactly being equal to two times x, and now we can divide both sides by two. Meaning overall x is thus equal to um, 45 over eight. And this is actually our upper bound, okay? Meaning x is also equal, um, not equal, but element of the interval, okay, zero. And this is the part that we are not allowed to hit anymore because this is the point where our inequality doesn't work anymore. Okay, this is the zeroth point and we don't want to hit that. Meaning it's between zero and 45 over eight. Meaning overall, the solution to our IMO problem is thus x being element of the unit to the unity or whatsoever of the interval negative one half, zero, and then in union with zero comma 45 over eight. And this is it, okay, this has been a simple problem, it's just simple algebra, I think every one of you is familiar with going through stuff like this, but I thought it's a nice problem, I wanted to cover something that has to do with math competitions, okay, and here you go. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to check out Papa Flemmy's show, 10 to 15% of everything over the course of the whole December, and up until the next video, have a flamble day, Ugh. see ya, ciao, whatsoever. Urgh. Akira.